What's freaking out? Oh shit! What the hell is going on? What the hell? Yo. Oh. You ready for another adventure tonight? I think so, but I don't really know anything about it, so. Right. Well. I guess I'm ready. There is a church I know of that has what is known as a cursed guest book. Now, local legend says that anybody that signs the guest book either dies a horrible death or they, well, end up in hospital with serious life-changing injuries. And I want to go no. there tonight. No, you're, you're gonna sign, you're, you want to sign it, don't you? I don't know if I'm going to sign it, but I do want to study it. Now, this church is open okay. 24 hours a day, so all day, all night, we should have absolutely no problem getting in. Okay. And what I want to do, at the very least, because I cannot steal, I cannot steal from the place. I agree. But I do want to study it somehow. I want to take a page from this book home. Why? Hang on, well, hang on, I have a hundred questions. Number one, why? Number two, can we just recap what happened last year? What? When you took the rabbit's foot. Your, your life literally fell apart when you took that foot. Everything was going yeah, crazy. But... You got really ill. Then the haunted stuff was happening everywhere. Your EVP thing was playing up all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, you yeah. But you've no, you got to understand. Oh, God. No risk, no reward. And <laughs> I have a... <laughs> that's not a reward, but... is it? No, that's not a reward. Like, oh, you know, take a foot and your whole life like, falls into yeah, pieces. Yeah, but come on. This is, this, this is in a church. Now, granted, the church is still um, consummated. So I'm not convinced you're saying people. But have been it's dying no from longer this. it's no longer running, and also, we have a whole chest full of haunted goods right there, okay. right? I, I'm fine with that, but just just to make this clear, by you saying it's in a church like it's like holy and protected, I'm not convinced because the fact that you're saying people sign it well, and really bad you, things happen. You know what I'm not convinced about? What's that? A guest book in a holy church that ends up killing people who sign it doesn't sound very Christian to me. It sounds like there's something funny going on here. Is that why they stopped doing um, ceremonies there, do you think? It stopped doing ceremonies back in 1973, but the church has been around since the 1200s. There it's a very, why? very historic church. So 1973? Yeah. There was no information as to why they stopped doing services there. And it's still there in perfect condition? Yeah. And we can That's go really in. Okay. So I'm going to take a page from this book. Right. And how are we going to do this safely? Safely. Well, I'm glad you That's asked. That's kind of the important part, I think. Well, spe <laughs> speaking of my cabinet... Yeah. of mysteries and wonders. I have an item in here that I haven't actually featured on this channel in a very long time. What is that? This is an old Dybbuk box I opened many years ago. Do me a favor, open it. You said I'm not allowed to open it. Open it. It's fine. It's already been opened. It's not sealed. What? Really? Nope. All this time I thought it was waxed together. How do you open it? Just be careful with what's in it. Why is it not coming up? Is it like a, 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 a latch? Oh, it's a latch. Okay, my bad. Oh my god. Are you sure it's not sealed? I can't get oh it open. Take this. <laughs> Am I doing it wrong? Oh, that's so easy. What? I'm probably going to have to keep that? this with us. Oh, another camera. What is that? Sand. No, it's not sand, unfortunately. Okay. Listen, some things are better left not answered, to be honest no, with you. what is it? Just trust me. You don't want to know. No, I do. Seriously, what is it? No. Listen, I'm going to bring this, and we'll put the page in here, okay? Now, me putting a page in here is not me signing the page. It's just touching the guest book. We're going to bring the page back with us so okay. I can further study it. And when we're on site, I will then decide if we are going, well, if I'm going to sign it. But why can't I know what's in there? What is that? Like I said, I don't like that. Some things are better. Yeah, you've never let me opened it, and I thought it was waxed, and then now there's a little gravel sand. Seriously, stop asking. So, if you had to guess, why would you think that a holy site such as a church dating back from the 1200s would have something cursed in it, something that would actually harm the people that you're meant to go and feel safety and sanctity within a holy place like this. Sadly, I have absolutely no idea. I think it's really backwards. Uh, like I say, if anything, um, I'm quite shocked the church actually keep, kept it in there, sorry. Because if they know that it's capable of like this sort of, you know, these abilities, what it's doing to people and ruining their lives, then why would you leave it in there? So well, I think that's a little bit crazy to be honest. Okay, well, I have a question. There's another church 
that we know of that has something similar, a, a similar urban legend. Yeah, but that's worldwide famous. That's, yeah, but, that's why but that's still didn't, didn't you say to me earlier that the reason that I couldn't find a Google article on it was because the actual owner of the church did everything in their power to make sure that yes. their church wasn't bad mouthed? Yeah, of course. So long story short, that church, um, it hit every single headline you could imagine at one period of you know time. Um, it became so world famous that even when I'd been to visit, there were actual almost tour bus size you know, groups of people there taking photos and kind of like, um, like I say, doing it for the wrong reason. So yeah. the guy who owns the church, um, he is obviously a devout Christian um, and the publicity was so bad on the church, he started getting vandalized. So obviously since all of it being obviously over and stuff, he just in his right mind just said, you know what, this isn't fair. Um, any articles about it that was bad publicity, he literally got them all taken down because he made it clear that, hey, I'm, I'm the reverend or the vicar, whatever you want to call him. Um, and the fact that you're doing this in my church, you're actually bringing me so much harm. Uh, it, it really affects his family as well, really, really badly. So I do know the book is still there. I don't know if it's still in the church. Though. That's the only thing. I, I'll be honest, I haven't been in there for so many years. Yeah. I don't know if it's still actually in the grounds or, you know, whatever. I don't know what they do with it. But all I do know is it absolutely ruins his, his, his whole life, his family, his friends. You know, that, that makes me wonder then. Because we have freedom of press, freedom of speech and all of that. Yeah. So if you're making articles about an urban legend and uh, things that people seem to be experiencing, yeah. why is it that the church gets the right to get all of it taken down as opposed to, say, any other site? Say if somebody made a bad press article about me or or my home or something like that, yeah. I wouldn't. There's, there's not really any way I could feasibly get it taken down. So why is it that the church gets a free pass? I, I think the only thing I can obviously like justify in my head is because, like I say, it got, it got very famous very, very fast and it was being vandalized. That's a, that's a very big difference where mm. it was actually damaging somebody's bank account and a historical site. So I think because obviously it's, it's historic nature that they just obviously agreed and said, you know what, he's got a good point. It's probably not fair. Um, and even the articles about when it was a um, all the myths and urban legends about it, uh, even that he started getting revoked. Because I actually asked him about three years ago if I could film it for my channel. The second I said anything to do with like you know paranormal or urban legends or that sort of stuff, he he's a really nice guy, but he got really shitty with me. He said no, I'm not having it. And he actually told me that his security team or site manager will be keeping an eye for me. And if I'm spot on camera being up there, he's gonna be questioning it. So I, I feel for him because he had a lot of shit happen from that See, time period. Well, now that we know that this happens across the world at multiple churches. I feel like there might be something to this. I mean, a, a guest book that curses you. There, there, there's got to be something to it. it. It just sounds really not, not very Christian to me, to be honest no, with you. Of course you. not. No, it no. sounds, it sounds almost satanic or demonic to me. Yeah, that's why I'm shocked that if the, um, the site managers or any reverends or vicars, I don't know how they work at this church, why they've left it there. Then again, they might not know this stuff. I, I don't know. Or they don't believe it, and they're or in that, denial. They could just think it was fate. Or, or it's or, God's way. I or. Don't know. They do host funerals at these places. Maybe it's just their way of getting that extra bit of income. That no, I'm, I'm joking. Oh, it wouldn't I was be say that. That's so rough. At least, at least I hope to God that's not the case. Yeah. Either way, I, I don't know what to make of it, other than the fact that I think it's a bit, it's, it's a bit of a shame, really, that they've not taken it out of the building because obviously what is causing people havoc and, and loss. Well, tell you what, right? Let's get to this church. I know it's. It, Sorry, I guess because I. Wow. Let's get to this church. Let's experience what happens, and let's see if there's any validity to the urban legends and claims. Okay. I'm well excited to find out and finally take a, take a page, a piece of history for myself and see what happens. I'm excited about that bit. <laughs> <laughs> Not too bad. Right, you know how I was remarking about how pitch black it was a minute ago? Yeah. That light's just turned on. Maybe we should just go in. are open all night. Oh, here we go. Please, 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 please. Yes. Oh, we're here. Yeah, shut us in. Can you believe this was built in the 1200s? 
Real quick, before uh, before you check the book, can you lift that up? See if there's any holy. No, let's see if there's any holy water in there. Please do not put water in this font. It cannot drain away. Please use a separate container. Thank you. That's interesting. Okay. That's really classy, though. Yeah, it's beautiful. <coughs> yeah, I read online one of them dates from 1300s and the other from 1600s. Wow. They're very old. So it's just the guest book. This is going to be the guest book. Right? Sign her names and die. Oh. Do you think it's a bad idea? <laughs> I really think this is such a bad idea, but can we just confirm this? Do you think? Like do you really think? People? Do you really think all these people are dead right now? It's just an urban legend. I mean, granted, I so. some of these go back to 2022. These go back to 2011. 2012, yeah. I mean, who knows? Maybe they did all pass away of something horrible. Oh, that's not reassuring. Okay. If you want to do it, that's fine. <sighs> Should, should I sign it? You know, we're in it for, for the long haul. Maybe I we just, should. I just don't know. I, uh, if you want to do it, fine. Are you going to sign it? No, God no. Because if it comes true, at least one of us has to be fit and healthy, right? Maybe I'll just sign my name. Proving Demons. My signature. What's today's date? Uh, it is the 22nd of April. Um, four. No, oh, no, 22nd. Yeah. Alright. Name is signed in the Evil Death Book. Right. I have a feeling about this. But the next thing I want to do, hold this. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, but I have to test this. What's that? Shh. It just started. Is that the rain? It just started pissing me down. If anything, this might increase spirit activity. Official. Do you want me to sign your name? No, God, no, 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 don't write my name down. You sure? I just, if this is true as what you say, I don't know if I want to jinx it. Okay. If you really want to, you can. I don't, I don't, I'm not like, it's weird because I'm not afraid of like, it coming true. I'm just also like, I don't want, I don't like the whole thing of like dying and stuff. Because that's what yeah. you're saying, like people are seriously ill. But then, then again, this book is like full to the brim. So does that mean every single person in this book was ill? Dating back to 2001. This book has been in here. This, this new book anyway has been in here since 2001. This urban legend at least has been running for 22 years now. That's insane, isn't it? Absolutely. But surely all of these people have been got sick. I hope not. It's hard to tell, isn't it? I hope not. Well, any time will turn out, Mr. D. <laughs> right. Shall I set some equipment up and we uh, just see if there's anything haunting this location? Yeah. To be fair, I might actually set Tesla on top of the book. Just to see. Alright. So I've placed spirit box here. Put Tesla right here on the... Uh... What? What? Noises, yeah. Hang on. (gasps) 
The device just spiked. I'm hearing weird noises in here. If there's somebody here with us right now, affect the device in my hand. I mean you no harm. I just want to communicate. God. That's not creepy at all. Just a completely black room. Try to affect the device in my hand. I'm gonna walk up towards the pew. What's freaking you out? Oh shit. What the hell is going on? What the hell? Okay. Oh shit, the K2 meter's going off too, right over the book. Can you affect the device again? Affect the bear? So it only happened on the book. It happened here for a split second, too, a second ago. Was the scream in here? Because to be fair, it sounded far away, and there is a bell tower up there. Yeah. Come on, let yourself be known like you just did. Spiking. The K2 meter just spiked. The bears, too. Why is it specifically on the book? Is the book cursed? You hold that. Let me know if any activity happens on that. Pull the antenna out. Can you pull the antenna out, please? Oh, yeah. F-Bomb. Gaming. F-M. Royalty mix. If that's the 19th musical monitor, the slot would be the display. Hello? The bear's coming off. Put the case up next to it. Just hold it there. Right. It goes to show. It's something to do with the book. Why is the book giving off so much EMF? It's maxed out completely. It's not stopping. And put it. It's not over here. Oh, a little bit. Who are you? Who are you? It's like it's not a roundup, but it's spiking when it comes to the book. Yeah. Can you say book if you're attached to the book? I'm not sure what that said. Say book if you are attached to the book. I'm not sure if I'm missing responses or not. Yeah, it's maxing out again. Um, that is um six out. What? That, that is um six. I'm not, sh I'm not sure. Listen. What is your name? Maybe I'll see if I can speed it up a bit. I'll speed it up a bit. 
Talk to me. Yes, talk to me. Stop. Why? Did you hear that loud bang? That sounded like somebody like kicked the door or something. I don't know, it just sound kind of like whispers or something, I don't know. Are you evil? Say evil. You wish death upon people? Is this the bear door? Or? Right, hold on. I, I need to try something. This is book. Right. So it's, it stopped as soon as I took it off, to be fair. What? I don't know if the book's. Is the book attached to the table? Let's move the book. Let's move it all the way to the front. Okay. See, I'm just only, I only want to do this to see if it genuinely adjusts the book. Okay. Please, if we move it, then we'll know. Okay. Can you affect the device now? Now that we've moved it over here. What? Nothing. It's just. You know, when we're facing this way, it's completely pitch black behind us and it's very uncomfortable. <laughs> it's very uneasy. What do you think about the radio? Just leave it for now. I don't think I was getting any clear responses anyway. I just want to see what else there is. Oh, there's a piano in here. So there's a piano. The bear just went off. Can you affect the bear? I literally just heard it go off. Can you affect the bear? If I hear it, I'll just come run, running back at it. I just want to see what this is. Look here. Come here. Come here. Lift up the piano. See if it still works. Oh, wow. That key doesn't. No, some of them don't. Some of them don't. It's a very old piano, I guess. You know, remember how spirits resonate with frequencies and vibrations. Yeah. organ is piano. The keys are broken. It's a very old piano. It must be from... Oh, is that just a break? Yeah. Well, okay. Piano, <laughs> right, so the bear hasn't gone off. It did for a second, but... It's kind of toying with you a little bit. I don't know. Because it went absolutely mad. Take... And now it's absolutely completely out of still me. silence. Just follow me real Let's see what happens in here. It could just very well be the entity that's been talking to me recently, or monster, whoever the hell it is, but let's just give it a go.
Are you angry that I took a page? This digital recorder is so unpredictable nowadays, by the way, because ever since whatever it was latched onto it, I actually have one coming in the mail. It's late, but I have a brand new one I'm going to experiment in future videos to see if I put them side by side what they capture. at least this time. That's weird. The voice doesn't come through like it normally does. Sounds perfect. It sounds normal now. Yeah. Let me, let me listen to the beginning though, because the beginning had a weird noise. What? Wait, listen. I don't want you here. It's oh, so either yes. I don't want you here, or they don't want you here, and then it works fine. Maybe it's because we're in the church. Wow. Maybe the entity that follows me is scared of this place. I don't want you here, or they don't want you here. That's incredible. That's crystal clear. I can't believe we missed that. And then it's just normal. Should I do another? Yeah. See if maybe the entity can't really talk in this, in this maybe, environment. Do it near the book. Do it near the book. Do it near the book? Yeah. All right. Just see if we get a different result. Bars are going mental. Who's talking to me? It's so weird, it's working normal again. I don't think the end. Oh. What? Right. You said that Tesla went off. I don't think the entity can talk to me in this church. It's like, get off him, they don't want you here, and get off him or some shit. Unless it's an so entity, weird. unless somebody's like preventing the entity from affecting me in here. Yeah, you protect it. So why is the book supposedly evil? It's not doing anything now, we moved it. I don't get it. Hmm. It's like since we've moved um, the bear in the book, like literally look, none of it's gone off. Nothing's gone off. Except on that little one blip when you just, oh. What the fuck? Okay, <laughs> I'll take that back. It's, it, it might be intelligent, <laughs> whatever it is. Am I annoying it by moving it? Do you get a sense of danger at all here? What, me? Yeah. Uh, I just I just don't like the, the, the appending doom of darkness behind us. Yeah, 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 of course. Oh, neither do you. Okay. Oh. Okay, so now it's giving off EMF. I'll put it back. There's some sort of attachment to this book. Sorry. But I don't know. It's fascinating. Let's just stay a little bit longer, see if anything else crazy happens. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Is that, Do you would, like that? Would you like that? Would you like us to just hang out a bit, see see what, what goes on? Oh, God. If you're protecting me, by the way, from the entity, I do thank you for that because there's something really dark following me. Can you understand me? Can you... Can you... That's intelligent as fudge. What? 
You can understand us. Can you answer questions with this device? Maybe light up the uh, device if, um, well, if the answer is yes. Is that possible? Do you understand that? So say, for instance, if I were to ask you, is there something evil attached to this book? Yes or no? Light it up for yes? Nothing? Light it up for no. Well. Unless it's just gone. I think the ground rule was lighting it up was yes and doing nothing was no. Um, how about... Is there only goodness in this church? Yeah, just leave it. Is there only love and light allowed in this church? Light it up for yes? The weather is just taking a turn for the worse. I mean, unless we have just triggered Armageddon. I don't know. Are you still here with us? Oh God, can you hear that out there? It sounds terrible out there. Well, I'm dreading the walk back to the car then. So weird, it's like it comes in bouts. Well, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. We'll hang around for a bit, and if anything happens, I'm gonna I'm gonna capture. It. What the he hell? wants us to hang around. Yeah, we'll, we'll hang around a bit. I was just going to say, if anything else happens, I'll capture it on camera. Are you okay with that? Yeah? Right. Well, tell you what, while you're doing this, I'm going to experiment a bit with the spirit box, and we'll just, we'll just see what happens, yeah? All right. Right, so as you can see, we brought the book back here. Um, for those who didn't know, this is a Dybbuk box, if you were unaware. It's basically a sealing uh, sort of ritual for negative entities. I've put the paper inside of it just as a carrying case for the time being. I have signed the book, but I'm going to just see some, you know, run some experiments, see if anything changes at the house. I find it'll be quite an interesting experiment, but to be honest with you, I didn't get anything that negative here. If anything, the positive light on all of this is the fact that the entity that normally comes through my digital recorders in all my latest videos, it's, it's like he was begging, he's begging me to leave the church. It's almost like I feel more protected in here mm -hmm. with the book than I do out there with him. So I'm, I'm finding that fascinating. But yeah, nothing else has actually really happened. Uh, we brought the book back because Bear's not going off, K2's not going off. Uh, spirit box is inconclusive and EVP is just nothing now. It's just absolute normal normalness So I'll let you know if this place is in the end um, You know if, if the book in the end is anything paranormal um, as far as the location Granted I will admit the book gives off EMF the book 100% gives off EMF and I, I think fascinatingly enough the church seems to stop the entity. Mm. Yeah, I think it's we'll interesting. Somehow, somehow Maybe I should start going to church more. Who knows? <laughs> right, with that anyway, everybody, if you enjoyed this video, click this link right here. It's an absolute banger of a video. Trust me, so far, as of this month, it's been everybody's favorite video. And I'll end it, as we always do. Do you believe yet? Mm -hmm.